The World Inequality Report 2018 is, in a way, the first systematic assessment of globalization in terms of income inequality. Mm -hmm. We also discuss uh, trends in wealth inequality between the public sector and the private sector and among uh, world citizens. Despite strong growth in emerging markets, in emerging economies, Globalization did not lead to a reduction in global inequality among uh, in global income inequality among world individuals, but to an increase. In fact, the top one percent global income earners captured twice more growth than the bottom fifty percent of the population. Seventy million people captured uh, twice more global income growth since 1980 as the bottom half the world population, so 3.5 billion people. But you do not necessarily need to sacrifice growth uh, if you want to reduce inequality. So in the US versus Europe comparison, you see uh, a very important rise of inequality, an explosion of inequality at the top in the USA, and you don't see this in uh, Europe. That said, uh, Europe uh, didn't uh, have much lower growth rates than the USA over the past uh, decades. And this is even clearer in the case of the China versus India comparison, because uh, India grew at a rate of 200% from 1980 to today. So average income per adult net of inflation grew at 200% versus 800% in China from 1980 to 2016. But the growth in inequality was much lower in China than in India. These differences are not due to uh, new technologies because, as, as we can often hear uh, in, in certain uh, public debates or academic debates, that rising inequality is due to uh, digitalization of the economy or globalization because all these countries are exposed to more or less the same uh, uh, penetration of new technologies in their markets and more or less they are exposed to similar uh, deregulation waves. So it's really about policy, it's really about institutional change. The key elements to reduce inequality, progressive taxation to reduce inequality at the top, investments in education, in health, in infrastructures to reduce inequality at the bottom. And to make taxation effective in a global environment, you also need to, to fight against tax evasion, which is possible in a world where capital markets uh, are uh, global. And this leads us to one of the recommendations of the report, which is to implement a global financial register. So uh, that is a register uh, that is a, a big data file where you can uh, know uh, who owns what uh, across the entire world. This information today is, is in private hands, in a few mm -hmm. private actors, and uh, we discuss how uh, it can be technically feasible for uh, tax authorities to actually access this information. Mm -hmm.